Wilson. Followed by the two captains, Pat Rice and Mick Mills. Will it be Arsenal the favourites, or will Ipswich, on their first appearance in a Wembley Cup final, surprise a lot of people and win? In the next 90 minutes, we're almost certain to find out. As Arsenal get us away, this 1978 FA Cup final in the yellow shirts and blue shorts, Attacking the goal to our left, Ipswich in blue shirts and white shorts, and here's Stapleton straight away. Yes, a slide and an unfair contact, and a free kick for Arsenal, and an indication of how this pitch, soaked by rain for so long this week, will cut up. Although it's surprisingly firm, it's drained well. Brady chipping it in, Cooper had to come for that one. In the end, it was Kevin Beattie who put it away for the corner. Brady will take it. Hey! Willie Young in there. You can depend that McDonald and Stapleton will be in there. And Jack Charlton was saying last night in who in the cup that it could well be on these occasions that uh, Paul Cooper might be vulnerable, lacking that inch or two as balls are played in under his crossbar. Hudson now though. Brady looking to dip another of those little crosses in though. Instead he's played a nice reverse ball here to Hudson. Hit in lower this time. Oh my word, O'Leary! very far wide with that one it's just a little slow to pick him up the Arsenal skipper Pat Rice Alan Hudson very deep again but he's very deceptive he'll play very deep but he'll also link up with things where it really matters on the edge of the box as well Woods getting in fast now get us a chance to break maybe just nudging it out here for Clive Woods a good interesting break this for Ipswich turned inside Osborne missed it, oh and Mariner hit the crossbar! What a good break by Ipswich, from the moment Woods got free. Because Willie Young let him, but a great ball across the face of the goals. Had time to stop it, but it broke well. Mariner getting underneath this one. Oh, and O'Leary is beaten and the game goes on. Mariner with a chance to shoot, walk! Oh, he's hit the post! Oh, and Mariner's put it wide! It makes you believe it's not going to be Ipswich's day. Mariner whacked one against the crossbar in the first half. Walk, that brilliant midfield player with the waspish shot, hit the post with that one. That was as near to being a penalty kick as I've ever seen. In fact, it was more, it was like if, if it hadn't gone to an Ipswich player to hit the post, it would have been a penalty. Because the player coming across, I didn't see who it was, went straight for Mariner and in fact took him. But the ball broke and the referee allowed an advantage, which was unfortunate. Ipswich is not that day. Two great chances. Hunter. And now Mills. Woods. Mariner. Got away from Willie Young again and the shot's too high but they are raining in on Jennings at the moment and there was another example of how this uh, Paul Mariner with tremendous acceleration gets by Willie Young Woods popping up on the far side now here he goes again it breaks for him this time for young David Geddes Oh, he's gone past Nelson. Across the face of the goal. That's got to be it. And it is it. Roger Osborne has made the breakthrough. That's the first bit of luck in front of goals that, that they've had. A great break by Roger Osborne here. Beautiful ball. Willie Young can only stop the ball and play it in front of... Who is it? Osborne. Osborne. Who made the break on Geddes on the far side, wasn't it? Here we go again. Great break. Five words, or rather, Geddes with the break. Played out again by Willie Young. And thank you very much. That's the only place Willie Young could play, uh, play that ball. He had to pull it back that way, otherwise... 
he would have almost certainly put it into his own net. And a few more seconds will tick away. And Ipswich now just a last gasp away from winning the cup for the first time in their history. They won the championship in 1962 with Sir Alf Ramsey. They're going to win the cup, it seems, in 1978 with Bobby Robson. Again, a look at that watch. And Ipswich have won the first time in their history. And Bobby Robson, a smile lighting up his face. Patrick Cobble, 